over. Michigan fans are in mourning tonight after losing to rival Ohio State at home and any chance of going to a bowl game this season. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Joel Fike. Tate Forcier threw four interceptions and fumbled in his own end zone as ninth-ranked Ohio State beat Michigan 21-10. It was their sixth straight win in the series. After the game, Michigan's coach reflected on a disappointing season. If I'm a bad guy because I lost some games, and that's what people perceive, then I can't help that. But as coaches, you know, a lot of times, you know, that's all fans judge you on the results on Saturday. Hey, I'm a big boy. It's a big boy business. Meanwhile, in East Lansing, the Spartans had problems of their own with Penn State in a game you just saw here on ABC 12. While a special edition of the Highlight Zone is coming up later in the broadcast, Ryan Slocum will have highlights and post-game reaction from Ann Arbor and East Lansing, plus six local high schools involved in football playoff action. For local college football fans who couldn't attend the games, it's been a day to party. Okay. Inside UAW Local 598. There's some real passion here. There was a sea of disappointed Mays and Blue fans. They lack a little bit on defense, I think, at times. A little bit. <laughs> it's not bad right now. As the losses pile up for Michigan, a question emerges. Should Rich Rod be fired? We need a change. <laughs> we need something. <laughs> right now we need help. Or a miracle. We tracked down one lonely Ohio State fan. Well, somebody's got them. I mean, you can't have a total majority for Michigan. And a few others who didn't give a rip. Do you know who Rich Rodriguez is? No. <laughs> no, I don't. You know who Jim Tressel is? No. The coffee is flowing here instead of beer. It was an alcohol-free celebration for people in recovery by a group called Project Vox. We bring families and kids together of people in recovery and show them that you can have fun without drugs and alcohol. Project Vox holds similar events on New Year's Eve and Super Bowl Sunday.